Jane Alexander, a seasoned actress whose career has spanned decades, has left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Whether it was through her compelling performances on screen or her stage presence, many have vivid memories of the first time they encountered her work. Can you recall the initial piece that introduced you to this iconic figure? Whether it was a film, a television show, or a theatrical production, Jane Alexander's talent has a way of making a lasting impression. As we reflect on her body of work, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor. What scene or character resonated with you the most, and how did it leave an impact? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Let's celebrate the rich tapestry of Jane Alexander's contributions to the world of entertainment and the diverse ways in which she has touched the lives of her audience. Share your thoughts and join the conversation about this remarkable actress and her impactful career. Sharing the National Endowment for the Arts, Jane Alexander played a key role in shaping cultural policies during her tenure from August 1993, appointed by President Bill Clinton. This significant position highlighted her commitment to the arts and their role in society. Notably, Alexander's influence extended beyond the screen, demonstrating her dedication to the broader cultural landscape. In the cinematic realm, Alexander's impact is exemplified by her role in All the President's Men, a film selected for the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress. Recognized for its cultural, historical, and aesthetic significance, the movie solidified Alexander's contribution to American cinema. Beyond her professional achievements, Alexander served as the commencement speaker for Duke University's Class of 1996, addressing and inspiring graduating students. This engagement showcased her broader involvement in education and her role as a public figure. In summary, Jane Alexander's multifaceted contributions to the arts, her leadership at the National Endowment for the Arts, and her cinematic legacy underscore a career that extends beyond the screen, leaving an enduring mark on American culture. Portraying Sarah Delano Roosevelt in the acclaimed film Warm Springs, Jane Alexander secured her place in the spotlight, winning an Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Miniseries or a Movie. This achievement came almost three decades after her notable portrayal of Eleanor Roosevelt in the made-for-TV films Eleanor and Franklin and Eleanor and Franklin, The White House Years. These performances earned her Emmy nominations as Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama or Comedy Special. The versatility showcased in her roles as the mother and wife of President Franklin D. Roosevelt highlights Alexander's enduring impact on the television landscape. Jane Alexander, a distinguished actress, stands as one of the few performers to achieve an Oscar nomination for her movie debut. Her compelling portrayal in The Great White Hope not only earned her this prestigious recognition, but also secured her a Tony Award for Best Supporting or Featured Actress on Broadway in 1969. Remarkably, she reprised the same role in the Oscar-nominated film adaptation, further solidifying her talent. Beyond this remarkable debut, Alexander's impact on the stage continued to shine. Winning the 1969 Tony was just the beginning of her accolades. Over the years, she received six additional Tony nominations, showcasing her versatility and skill in roles ranging from dramatic to comedic. Notable nominations include Best Actress for Six RMS Rivu and Find Your Way Home, as well as Best Actress for First Monday in October, The Visit Revival, The Sisters Rosenzweig, and Honor. Alexander's journey is marked by rare achievements. Not only did she receive an Oscar nomination for her movie debut, but she also stands as one of the select few performers to achieve an Oscar nod for the same role in which she had already earned a Tony. This dual recognition speaks volumes about her exceptional talent and the lasting impact of her early success on both stage and screen. In the grand tapestry of Jane Alexander's career, these milestones form a unique thread, weaving a narrative of talent, recognition, and enduring contributions to the world of acting. As her journey unfolds, it becomes clear that Alexander is not just an actress, but a trailblazer, leaving an indelible mark on both Broadway and Hollywood. Jane Alexander, a distinguished actress, added another feather to her cap by being the commencement speaker for Smith College's class of 1999. This honor came as a testament to her significant impact not only in the realms of cinema and television, but also in the broader educational landscape. 
Notably, she received an honorary degree from Smith College in Northampton, Ma, further solidifying her standing in the academic community. Alexander's multifaceted career extends beyond the screen and stage with her commitment to the arts, evident in her leadership at the National Endowment for the Arts appointed by President Bill Clinton. Her influence in shaping cultural policies during her tenure showcased a dedication to the broader cultural landscape. In the cinematic world, her role in All the President's Men left an indelible mark, earning a spot in the National Film Registry. The versatility displayed in portraying Sarah Delano Roosevelt in Warm Springs and Eleanor Roosevelt in Eleanor and Franklin Films highlighted her enduring impact on the television landscape, earning her accolades, including an Emmy Award. Notably, Alexander achieved the rare feat of receiving an Oscar nomination for her movie debut in The Great White Hope and a Tony Award for Best Supporting or Featured Actress on Broadway in 1969. Her journey on the stage continued with six additional Tony nominations, showcasing her exceptional talent in roles ranging from dramatic to comedic. As we delve into Jane Alexander's journey, it is clear that she is not merely an actress, but a trailblazer, leaving an enduring mark on American culture, education, and the world of acting. Recipient of the Women's International Center Living Legacy Award in 1988, Jane Alexander's impact extends far beyond the realms of stage and screen. This prestigious recognition, bestowed upon her in acknowledgement of her significant contributions, underscores Alexander's enduring influence on the cultural landscape. Her multifaceted career saw her not only as a distinguished actress, but also as a trailblazer in the broader educational and artistic spheres. As chair of the National Endowment for the Arts during her tenure from August 1993, appointed by President Bill Clinton, Alexander played a pivotal role in shaping cultural policies, emphasizing her commitment to the arts and their societal role. In cinema, her notable portrayal in All the President's Men earned a place in the National Film Registry, solidifying her contribution to American cinema. The television landscape witnessed her versatility in roles such as Sarah Delano Roosevelt in Warm Springs and Eleanor Roosevelt in the made-for-TV films Eleanor and Franklin and Eleanor and Franklin, The White House Years, earning her an Emmy Award. Notably, Alexander achieved the rare feat of receiving an Oscar nomination for her movie debut in The Great White Hope and a Tony Award for Best Supporting or Featured Actress on Broadway in 1969. Her journey on the stage continued with six additional Tony nominations, showcasing her exceptional talent in roles ranging from dramatic to comedic. Beyond the accolades, Jane Alexander's commitment to education is evident, having served as the commencement speaker for Duke University's Class of 1996 and Smith College's Class of 1999, where she also received an honorary degree. In the grand tapestry of her career, the Women's International Center Living Legacy Award stands as a testament to Jane Alexander's enduring impact, recognizing her as a living legend in the world of arts and culture. As the curtains draw to a close on this exploration of actress Jane Alexander's illustrious career, we find ourselves standing at the crossroads of retrospection and admiration. It's not just about the characters she brought to life on the screen. It's about the moments etched into the fabric of our own lives, woven together by her captivating performances. Now, dear reader, it's your turn on center stage. Reflect on the cinematic tapestry she painted for you. Was it the intensity of her portrayals or the subtlety that left an indelible mark on your memory? Share with us your personal connection to Jane Alexander and let the echoes of her roles resonate within you. In the grand theater of life, each of us carries a unique script, enriched by the characters who touched us. Jane Alexander, with her talent and grace, undoubtedly played a pivotal role in many of these narratives. Your reflections become a part of this collective celebration, a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. As we applaud the chapters written by Jane Alexander, we invite you to contribute your own paragraphs to this ongoing narrative. Share your favorite memories, your profound insights, and the nuances of emotion her performances stirred within you. Your words become the encore, prolonging the resonance of her impact. In closing, we extend our heartfelt appreciation for your time and interest in this homage to actress Jane Alexander. Together, let's celebrate the magic she brought to screens large and small and the emotions she stirred within the hearts of her audience. 
This narrative, a reflection of shared admiration, is not just written by algorithms, but shaped by the echoes of human experiences a tribute to the artistry of Jane Alexander, crafted in the theater of shared memories. Thank you for joining us in this celebration of talent and storytelling, and for being a part of this unique journey. Until the next act unfolds.